In COVID times, quarantines have forced most of us into localizations that are an ever more intimate relationship to screens that connect us to global media. We want to connect this all too real situation to the Lacanian theme of the forced choice. Lacan connects the forced choice to questions of identity within the symbolic, a substitute for what we have lost in the transition from animals with good smell to animals whose being loses out to thinking. The surprise of Seminar 9 is that it anticipates a futuristic idea that appears in Seminar 17 on the discourses, two terms that remain mysterious to most Lacanian commentators. In fact, a recent collection of commentaries overlooked these terms entirely. Why? Isn't this binary Lacan's most forward-looking idea, which also connects to something that is, as Lacan notes in Seminar 7, when he connects anamorphosis to the case of Daphne and Apollo, something very ancient? We propose a triad of ideas to play out the Latus and Alethosphere, and three key examples. In The Truman Show, The Tower of Babel, and Hitchcock's Vertigo, we find out how anamorphosis becomes the question of things remaining the same, idempotency, by a toy device known as the thaumatrope. Vertigo gives us the key because it shows how, in The Truman Show and The Tower of Babel, there is a con or scam going on. The con connects a cheat with a victim or a con with a mark by means of a flip device called a shill. This third go-between uses anamorphosis as a kind of soul transfer, first between the haunted wife Madeline and a dead grandmother, Carlotta, but then between Madeline and the actress hired to con the detective, Scotty. The mechanics of vertigo are the same as the Truman Show. The mark is held in place by fascinating him with a double image, but in fact the trap that the mark beholds is a trap for him. He is the bird trapped by watching a bird being trapped. The thaumatrope is a toy with an ancient lineage. These proto-cinematic devices have been found in Stone Age caves. Archaeologist Mark Azima has argued that these are the first forms of cinema because the phi function of simulated motion is related to desire. But also, it's important to see them as a kind of con, where the mark is held in place by a forced choice. The impossible project of remaking the actress Judy into the lost love Madeline, which was actually the woman Judy impersonated, goes straight to the heart, a thread through the central hole of the vertigo thaumatrope. We see the phi formation as a primal anamorph, and hence a way of extending anamorphosis to the issue of desire, within a trap that localizes and, at the same time, universalizes. Lacan first presents a torus to relate desire to demand, but the situation may be slightly more complicated. So to connect to the idea of the forced choice as a vel between two impossible options, 
we suggest a variation that relates to the anamorphic overlap of two images and suggest that localization localizes precisely because the alethosphere is not a simple sphere but a spindle torus that circulates desire around a constructed void, the void of desire. We've cut short our remarks to invite the audience to say something about all of these coincidences of opposites.